Hello, my name is Emmanuel. I'm very happy to show you this little box. It's a synthesizer, another one made with Tinsy. And um, basically it's designed for kids, workshops, and um, it's very affordable, reliable and easy to build. Yeah, so let's have a look at all the features that I put in it. So let's have a look at the keyboard. You have 13 pads, capacitive pads. With these two little pads, you change the, the range. This one goes to the upper range and the other one to the lower range. So you have nine potentiometers. The first one is to choose between 15 different uh, presets. The second one is to choose between eight different scales. I will talk about this just later. The third pot is used to transpose. semitone by semitone. These three pots uh, are used to set the LFO if you want to add some vibration. So this is the speed and this is the volume vibration. And this is the pitch vibration. Okay. And this is the portamento. I will demonstrate this just later. And then you have the headphone volume and uh, the, the output, main output volume. The scales. So the first scale is the major scale. And the second one is a uh, minor scale. Then you have this is the pentatonic scale and um, here I think we have the blues scale and so on you have some exotic scales um, well it's a lot of fun to play with scale and as it is designed for kids you know they can make music uh, very, it's very straightforward. They they don't make mistakes when they use scales. And to finish, we have the portamento potentiometer. Uh, if it if it is set to zero, you have a polyphonic synthesizer. But if you set the portamento to small values, you have um, a glide effect, which is quite fun to play. can add some more all right so now let's have a look at what do we have inside the box so we have a first PCB it's for the keyboard and behind we have a second PCB with a, a Tinsy 3.2 and I don't use the audio shield, uh, I use the built-in audio converter, which is enough for this uh, uh, synthesizer. And uh, I have added a little Class D amplifier. Uh, they are very cheap and they deliver quite a lot of power. So in the box, main box, uh, there is a small loudspeaker, it's a TV loudspeaker. And there is a uh, lithium battery. This is the kind of battery you, you can find uh, for uh, your phone. And they are very cheap too, around two or three bucks. So basically that's all we have inside. And uh, 
my mini touch that's the name of uh, this synthesizer is midi so you can drive it with uh, any keyboard or uh, any sequencer here i have uh, sequencing live so here we go it's running i'm gonna raise the volume i can have some portamento effect some LFO I can change the preset right. uh, to finish the presentation here is uh, a standalone application I've made with Max MSP I thought that it would be very interesting for children to tweak their sounds, you know, to make their own preset. So I've made this uh, little application. It's very easy to use and it is also educational because you can see uh, how the things is made, how it works. You have basically one oscillator, one noise generator, a loud pass filter, filter envelope, amplitude envelope, LFO section, reverb and portamento or glide so uh, you can choose for instance um, the waveform adjust the lfo and once you are happy with the sound you just have to push this red button and uh, it is saved in the eprom uh, tinsys memory so very very easy to use very fun to play with all right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have some fun. Uh, feel free to ask some questions. And uh, if you have some feedback, I would be very happy to hear from you. So now let's have fun with my mini touch.